Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiend. So today, we got Baby Monster Batter Up. Now, as usual with my K-pop, I want to be ingratiated with the world, so I'm going to read a little bit about them, see what they're about. Girl group from YG Entertainment that was made through a survival show called Last Evaluation. I think my sister be watching all these K-pop shows. YG made an announcement regarding the founder member of Baby Monster. The group was then finalized with seven members. Ahyun, Ruka, Chiquita, Haram, Farida, Asa, Aurora. They have, it looks like they only have like five songs. All right, cool. They haven't really debuted, I guess, but maybe this is, I mean, let me, let me just check the, the, the YouTubes. See what they got going on. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is from their videos and dancing and uh, whoa, they have they pulling views crazy. Okay, and they got some songs on here, but is this their first like legit? Okay, no, this is still pre debut. So I guess bat is batter up their first debut. You guys will let me know. It looks like batter up's their first debut. Let us check it out. See what this is talking about. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to it. Attention! I'm on a mission, don't need permission. No matter what, I'm gonna make my own decisions. I'm talking you. They have very, very, uh, what's the word? Very distinct vocal personalities. Who's first? So we have Rami and Aurora. And now we're on Farida. And we should go back to Rami. I just want to hear Ra uh, Rami one more time. So if I see there's a similarity. I'm on a mission. Don't need permission. No matter what, I'm going to make my own decisions. I'm talking you. You wanted to. You big old chaka nigga. Like they just rem they remind me of so many different art. Like the first girl was like Ariana Grande, then the next girl she was like I don't know like sound like Beyonce. Now she sounds sounds like Nelly Furtado or Fergie or something. Like this is very interesting. Very interesting what I'm getting here. So Chiquita and Farida sounded quite similar, and I would put them more to Ariana Grande. I guess I don't know who I can't I can't put a who would I can I don't know who I'd compare Rami to, but it's someone in that camp. Very interesting stuff I'm listening to. I like her. I like her. I like her energy. Let's play that from the top. I like her a lot. Who's that? This is Ruka? I like Ruka. Ooh, yo, 
I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ruka. You might have to. You know what? I like Ruka. Like, honestly, Ruka would be my girlfriend. But I'd be looking at Asa like, damn. Damn, Asa, I want you. You know what I'm saying? But Asa is more that, yo, she, Asa can rap. I ain't gonna hold you. You gonna play that again. Asa got, Asa got some little flow on her. She got a little flow. <laughs> right I might have to DM Ruka on Instagram I might have to slide in the DMs that look like wifey right there I ain't gonna hold you this chorus stuff this group collective singing I'm not a fan of this but we'll keep going I guess I could have waited to say that where's my baby girl Ruka is that her I think that's her right, anyway Maybe that's her. I think that's her. That might be... That's Asa, the girl I'm cheating on Ruka with, right? Something like that. Anyway. I like the personality. Was this my favorite song? No. It was more like an introduction to their personalities rather than their musical talent. And I must say, the rappers outshined everybody else. The rappers came through with some energy. They came through with some, that was some proper rapping. Um, but, uh, I wonder how they're going to fare, and I'm obviously I'm going to give my prediction, how they're going to fare in this realm of K-pop with all the other artists or all the other groups around them, you know, at least the girl groups, you know, they're not even talking with the guys. You got like Aespa, you got Red Velvet, you got Dreamcatcher, they just dropped, go watch my video on that. Um, who else? I forget the other ones. I think those are... Those are my top three right now. Can Baby Monster? Man, hope they're all 18. I was talking crazy. Um, Can Baby Monster break into that top five of best girl groups? I know there's another one. I forget the who, whoever made Bubble is probably in there too in the top five. And maybe I guess Blackpink or whatever their name is. Um, but I don't, I don't really react to that many of their songs yet. I haven't seen anything new from them. Maybe they're doing solo stuff. But, uh, hey, as, as usual, all the things that I'm saying help me get my thoughts collected. I'm still new to this space of K-pop. Uh, I'm still find, trying to find songs to add to my playlist from the K-pop world. So far, only Dreamcatcher has made it. Um, so, you know, help me out. Um, hmm. Right now, they have, I'm going to say definitively, they have the best rappers I have ever heard from any K-pop group, man, woman, or child. 
from as much as I can remember, that was the best rapping that I have heard. Give them their due flowers for that. It was actually good. It, it was better than the singing. It was better than anything else on the song. Um, so they get their flowers for that. Rating. I'll give it a 6.5. It's cool. It's cool. I don't really like the chanty stuff. It was a little gimmicky. Better up. But it was clean. It was smooth. Good beat. Not that mad of it. Just not my style. Let me know what you guys think. Help me with my K-pop lore. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Peace out.